Welcome to a new video from TMS Software. Today we're going to have a look at FixInsight. FixInsight is a static code analysis tool and it helps you to find programming errors early. Before we dip into the practical uses of FixInsight, I'd like to define a little bit closer what FixInsight does. Further, the next step will be how you find it in the user interface of the Red Studio IDE, because as any other tool from TMS Software, it integrates pretty well, so you miss it easily. And finally, we're going to have a look at a couple of examples how FixInsight works inside of the IDE. As already mentioned, FixInsight is a tool for static code analysis. That term is defined as a method of debugging by automatically examining source code. The reason behind all of this is that if you use automated tools, they are much more effective than any manual code review. Static code analysis integrates nicely into the creation process of your application. It is done before software testing. It'll help you to identify potential errors. It outputs a list of warnings and gives you the opportunity to remove all issues before handing your software to your testers. One more great feature is that FixInsight checks for coding convention compliance. Delphi has certain coding conventions and you can check for these. As mentioned, FixInsight integrates into the Red Studio IDE. And as the integration is so tied into the project menu or into the toolbar, you might miss it easily. Here you see the project menu with the three menu items dedicated to FixInsight. The first menu item, Run FixInsight, runs the FixInsight check over the whole project, not just one file. The second menu item only issues the check for the file that is being edited in the editor right now. And the last menu item gives you the opportunity to make changes to the settings. Let's have a look at some practical examples. Let's have a look at some practical examples working with FixInsight. As always, I already prepared an example. The example consists of TWebG map a memo and a button. And the functionality is best explained if I start the demonstration. As said, this is just an example, but the use case supposedly is going to be if you click the question mark, you'll see a help text, which does not appear. And if you click anywhere on the map, you'll get the coordinates and the X and Y coordinate of the image that represents the map where you clicked. And right now, if I click, nothing happens. So my code compiles, but still the functionality isn't there. So what can be wrong, right? And this is exactly where FixInsight comes in. Before you start testing your software, you run FixInsight. We can either use the toolbar or we can use the project menu using run FixInsight. In the message pane, all the warnings or potential errors appear. The first is empty except and that's a classic, like per se, there's nothing wrong with this, right? This basically means that when I assign the API key to my Google map control and something goes wrong, the exception is being eaten up. I won't see the error. And that's exactly what makes it so dangerous. This construct eats up all exceptions. And that is something you do not really want in a production environment. So you should get rid of this block. So we correct the mistake and go to the next one. You want to check the error type parameter of this event handler and you want to check it if it is a JavaScript error. And under this condition, if that is the case, you want to add some lines to a memo control. However, these memo lines will always be added because the issue is, as FixInsight points out, you have an empty then block, meaning the semicolon right here only conditions this semicolon. Everything else will be executed all the time. Remove the semicolon or even better, insert begin and end. Let's look at the next warning. And here we see a typical copy paste error. I check if the button that has been clicked is the left button. And then I execute some code meaning click. And what I supposedly wanted to do and I got distracted at some point, I wanted to output click left click right and as you can see here i simply stopped after copy pasting and went ahead so no matter what the condition click is always output and this is exactly what fix inside recognizes that the then statement is equal to the else statement so let's clear this up click left click right and now we fix the mistake 
The next morning, unreachable code would not occur in practice like this. Nobody would put an exit first in a method, maybe for testing purposes, but then you would comment out the code that you don't want to execute. You would not put an exit first. However, Fix Inside helps you to find code that is not being executed, be it through an exit, continue or break. So for the sake of this demo, we remove the exit. And as we can see here, this is actually also the reason why no help text was being up. Finally, one more really helpful warning. It is really tough for the human eye if you use the format method, if all the placeholders have a representation inside of the array. At first look, it seems all the variables have placeholder assigned, but if you look closer, you notice that this placeholder has no variable assigned. So we add the Y and this mistake should also be gone. Let's run fix inside again. And there you see we have no more messages. Let's run the application again. And now do the actual software testing. We click on the question mark. You see that the help text appears. We click on the map with the left button. We see the longitude, latitude, X, Y, click is left and click is right. So if you had used fix inside right away, your software would have never been incorrect in the first place. Remember, we started testing the demonstration and nothing worked. If you had run fix inside right away, that time would have been saved. So far, we've only seen errors about programming mistakes. Let's look at coding conventions. For example, if we define a field variable for the mouse button that has been pressed. So we declare the variable mouse button and compile the application. Of course, there is no compiler error. Obviously, the compiler points out that we never use it, but that's it. However, if we run fix inside, let's just run it on this unit, it tells you that there is a convention warning. Field variables should start with a capital letter F in Delphi. So we add the F, run fix inside again, and the error goes away. If you want to get a list of all the coding conventions, you can use the settings dialog and have a look at the conventions. Of course, the documentation contains detailed information about all the conventions. Furthermore, in the settings dialog, you can select which conventions, warnings, and optimizations should be considered for your fix inside run. For example, you use empty except blocks for whatever reason. You don't want a warning about that. You can click here and you will never receive a warning about empty except blocks ever again. Furthermore, if you select the whole project to be scanned, you can still select certain units that should be ignored. For example, if I don't want my flex keys unit to be examined by fix inside, I basically add U flex keys to the ignore units list. Please use one file name per line. We are already at the end of the first look at fix inside. Hopefully we could trigger your interest using fix inside. Just go to the URL provided on this slide and you'll find more details about Fix Inside, about more functionality, you can download the product documentation and of course a free trial version.